Hi everyone, welcome to video two. In this video, I'm going to share three strategies for finding data and highlight a few data resources. Strategy one is to brainstorm potential producers and creators. Some of the main producers of data on a variety of topics are government agencies. One top data creator in the United States is the Census Bureau. The Census Bureau conducts more than 100 surveys across the United States every year to collect data about people and the economy. In video three, I'm going to demonstrate how we can use data.census.gov, a Census Bureau tool, to find data. Another example is the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The BLS collects, analyzes, and disseminates data related to labor market activity, working conditions, and price changes in the economy. Non-governmental organizations, nonprofits, research centers, and specific colleges and universities also produce and collect data. A few examples include NORC at the University of Chicago, which is one of the largest independent social research organizations in the United States. NORC is responsible for the General Social Survey. Pew Research Center, which conducts research related to social issues, public opinion, and demographic trends. And World Bank, which collects and makes available global development data. Lastly, we may be able to identify top researchers in an area of interest who conduct similar research and make their data available. This strategy would be most helpful if our topic was specific enough to warrant reusing a data set created by other researchers. A good example could be if you wanted to validate and replicate previous research findings. If we are unable to brainstorm relevant data creators or producers, we can often use statistics to identify these creators, which in turn can lead us to the raw data. When using this strategy, it is important to understand how statistics are different from raw data. Statistics are the result of data analysis, interpretation, or evaluation. They often answer how much or how many. This first example clearly represents a statistical visualization, as it shares the outcome of some type of data analysis and interpretation. This next example is still statistics, but the information has undergone less transformation than the previous example. Since this table includes the actual percentages associated with each variable, we could potentially transform this information into a different type of visualization. In comparison, raw data is the information created or collected during research. Data can be analyzed and interpreted to create new knowledge and is the information from which statistics are created. And remember, as we talked about in video one, raw data can appear as aggregate data or microdata. Compared to the statistics screenshots, this image is definitely microdata, as it presents individual records. However, we can also see that these data have been simplified or cleaned because we can understand the column headings and cell values at first glance. If we compiled and analyzed this data, we could create a statistical output, such as a chart or visualization. This last screenshot is also an example of raw microdata, and includes the exact same data that we saw on the previous slide. However, we would need to find more information about the variables and potential answer options to fully understand this data. This type of information is usually available in the codebook or data dictionary. Getting back to strategy two, a few ways that you can use statistics to identify data producers include reviewing the statistics and charts included in publications and using the associated citations to identify the creators, investigating recent media coverage of a topic, and determining where they found this information, or conducting a Google image search for your topic to identify potentially relevant visualizations on the web. The third strategy is to identify relevant data archives or repositories. Data archives and repositories are platforms that host data. Usually the platform is not the party that collected the data, they are just making it available for others. Some repositories host data across disciplines and institutions, while others only include data sets that are related to each other in some way. For example, the data may be from researchers or projects in a specific discipline, like political science, while some universities may even have a data archive or repository that only includes data sets from their own faculty or students. Most often, data archives and repositories can be searched by anyone, but some do require visitors to create a free account to download data. However, some data archives and repositories restrict access and only allow members of specific groups or those who have paid for access to search for and download data. 
One repository example is data.gov, which provides public access to datasets created by the government at the federal, state, local, or tribal levels. Another example is Harvard Dataverse, which is an open repository of research data across disciplines and institutions. Both data.gov and Harvard Dataverse are free and can be searched by anyone, but they may restrict who can download sensitive data or require visitors to create an account. A unique example is IPUMS, which has various sub-repositories based on different topics and provides access to census and survey data from around the world. IPUMS is free and can be searched by anyone, but does require visitors to create an account to download the data. In video four, I'm going to demonstrate how we can use IPUMS and HGIS to find aggregate geographic data. If these repositories don't include the data you're looking for, you can also visit two websites, which link to archives and repositories from a variety of disciplines. These websites are the Open Access Directory and RE3 data. Each archive or repository linked to within these resources will have different requirements for visitors to search for and download data. Coming up in video three, I'm going to demonstrate how to use one of the Census Bureau's tools to find microdata.